Okay, what's up everybody? Good morning. Uh, Halloween's in a couple of weeks, and um, as promised, I'm going to make a video tutorial about how to play This is Halloween from the Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, so as with everything else I do, I'm going to play through the song one time, and then talk about the chords, some techniques, some picking patterns. And uh, I'm not playing through the entire song though, that's way too long. But what I will do is uh, loop back into C minor toward the end, so we can keep playing the song over and over again, if you want to. So, let's get started. Here's the song once through. <laughs> So the song, at least the beginning of the song, is in C minor, but in the actual song it changes chords and keys so many times that it's hard to keep track of. But my version starts in C minor, and then ends in C minor, so you can keep playing in that loop over and over again. Um, I'm going to go through a quick breakdown of the chords though, that would be good to know. Uh, you start with a C minor chord, or even a C five chord, a power chord, if you want to, it doesn't really matter. So you play that, and it goes to um, an F minor chord, but played this way. So you take that G7 shape, and you move it up one, two, three frets to play this version of F minor. And it goes to E minor. And you slide that whole E minor shape up one fret for F minor again. And then you end on G or G7, doesn't matter. And it goes through the uh, first verse. So C minor, or C, uh, C power chord, C minor, doesn't matter. And it goes to G7 or G. And then back to C minor. And it goes from C minor to B flat. <clears throat> goes from B flat to C minor to G to G minor to B minor uh, B flat minor and then from C major to F minor and this is A flat minor and then E minor uh, sorry A flat minor and this is the part where I change chords from the original song. From A flat minor, I play F minor, and I slide that down to play D minor. And it goes from, uh... so this is just um, jumping back and forth between C minor to F minor, C minor. And then F minor uh, uh, to G to C minor. So it ends on C minor. And then that's it. It's the song. The chords at least. Now for the actual uh, instrumental stuff. Okay, so quick note. When I pick, um, I've explained before in my other videos that my style is anchoring my picking hand, my right hand, with the pinky and then assigning the G and C strings to my thumb, E string, to my index finger, and then ring finger, uh, middle finger handles the A string. So thumb, G and C, index on the E, middle on the A. Because it helps to know which finger I'm gonna use if I wanna play a certain string on the uke. Okay, so back to the instrumental. Um, we start with either a C minor or a C power chord. It's, they both sound cool and they both work for the song, so I'm going to just use uh, C minor. 
You just down strum. So this is the intro. And then you slide. Uh, once you down strum, you just pick the C and E strings for a couple times. And then um, I play the fourth of the E string as I work up toward this F minor chord. So, pick, fourth the E, and then you play that F minor chord, down strum, and you pick again, C and E strings. And then I pluck the third of the A as I work down toward the E minor chord, and pick, and then I pick. So what I do there is I pick uh, A, E, C, A, E, the strings, and I slide that up to F minor, and then I pick the C and E strings, uh, I finger a C minor chord, and I pluck the C and E strings, uh, what do I do here, uh, actually scratch that. I just pick the C G string and I strum a G chord. So here's that part again, a little bit slower. Down strum that C minor chord. Pick. And then F minor chord. Pick. Third of the A. And then E minor. F minor, that's A E C A E, and then G, that's the intro, and then the first verse is so that part. Uh, again, you just down strum a C minor chord, and then you pluck the E, uh, third of the G string. and then the fourth, and you slide down to the first of the E. First of the E. And you can play a G7 chord or G chord, down strum, but then the first of the E. First, third, fourth, and back to the third. And then a C minor chord again, down strum, third of the E. And you play that B minor, uh, B, uh, B7 chord, B flat 7 chord. But um, as far as the notes go, first of the A, and then with my ring finger, I do fourth of the E, and then third of the E, first of the E. And then first of the E. And then third of the C string, second of the C, and it end on third of the E again. For the B flat chord, you can just finger it this way, not the full B flat seven or B flat chord. Just um, first and second of the E and A string, uh, first of the E and A strings, second of the C string. Down strum that. Or if you don't want to down strum the entire chord, just play the first of the A string and then fourth, third, first of the E string. So that's the uh, first verse. And then uh, this is Halloween part. It ends on a G chord and then it goes to a G minor chord. So what, so this part, that part, you down strum a G minor chord, so what I'm doing here is I'm down strumming, and then when I down strum, my middle finger will follow that up by plucking the uh, A string. 
So after I do the down strum pluck, I pluck the A string again, and then I take my uh, index finger off so I can play an open A string. And then I follow up with an open G string. Open A, open G. And play that a couple times. And it goes to a B flat minor chord, which is a fret, it's an easy fret, just one finger. Um, you can actually fret the entire, uh, bar the entire fret if you want to. But I'm just choosing to bar the C, E, and A strings only, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, down strum, and then you pluck the E string, and then you pluck the uh, third of the C, first of the C, open C, and it goes from uh, from that to a C major to an F minor chord. But what you can do, it's, it's even easier. You fret uh, the third of the E and fourth of the C, like this, and you slide that up one fret. So instead of playing, you can play this. The exact same notes, easier to play in my opinion. So that part again, slowly. G minor first. Then B flat minor. And then, there's that. And then the next part. So that part, you start with an A minor, uh, A flat minor chord. I'm only um, down strumming the C, E, and A strings, but if you want to, you can actually down strum the entire set. Sounds kind of cool, actually. But same kind of idea. So after I down strum, I again pick a middle finger, but instead of lifting off my index finger this time, I slide it down to the first fret of the A string, and I pluck it with the middle finger, and then I use my index finger to pluck the third of the E string. And for that you go to an F minor chord, easy, down strum, and you uh, play the fourth of the E, third of the E, first of the E, and then you play a D minor chord. You just pluck the C, E, and A strings. So you can take that F minor chord, uh, F minor, fourth, and you slide that whole sh chord shape down to make a D minor chord. Okay, like that. Uh, almost done. Then you play a C minor chord again. Or C, C power, doesn't matter. Uh, I think C minor sounds a bit better. So that part is, um, I think C minor does work better. You just fret the third of the C and E strings. And this is all picking, this part. It's, uh, you pick, and then you slide the index finger down to the second fret of the C string, and then I put my ring finger on the fourth of the E string, and they bounce back and forth like that. You're only picking the C and E strings here. And then you pluck. Uh, this is the third of the E. First of the E. Third of the C. Second of the C. Third of the E. And then you end on C, open C string. And then it goes back to C minor, which you can use to play the song over and over again in the loop. Because after you do this part. This 
So after that, you can loop through the entire song again if you wanted to. You can even walk around with the ukulele playing the entire song and loop for hours if you wanted. Uh, you can scare trick-or-treaters, but there probably won't be any because of COVID, which is a shame.